this first artist uh, we're gonna play uh, their band is called uh, Elimination mm -hmm. this song is called uh, Victims by Design Ooh. I'm gonna cute. leave a link in the comment section I'm also playing it right here so we'll be able to listen to it together there's a hair on my screen get Hi. off there you go. <laughs> <laughs> there's a hair on your screen too <laughs> no that's our, our, our third member of the video <laughs> like the vocals and the drumming of that a lot the uh that guitar though the combination of that i really dig that a lot that was awesome if anyone uh i see we got some viewers here you should let elimination know what you think about their song yeah please do uh that, you can also check the link out there if you want subscribe yeah. to them if you want to check out their music more but yeah i just like the just raw metal uh aspects of that like it's, it's really pure and fun. it's just, just pure uh just pure adrenaline metal there. Yeah. Not really uh, special aesthetics, no extra shit. It's just, just raw ass elimination. That was you just know, fun. <laughs> like, it was just fun all the way around. It was a fun music video. It was a fun song. Yeah, I really like the music video a lot too. That's, yeah, I got a nice director. Mm -hmm. Again, that was Elimination with their song, uh, Victims by Design. Uh, I posted the link there in the chat if you want to check them out in your own time. And uh, uh, get my subscription on YouTube if you want also. Uh, this next artist is called a uh, police horse. <laughs> That's funny. I think we used uh, their music before. Oh really? I don't remember that. Uh, horse. The, the name sounds familiar anyway. The band. I don't remember that album art either. Oh. Yeah, it's a newer song. Uh, it might be a newer album. I'm not sure. Oh okay. Let's check them out. Okay. Um, yeah, Spotify's taking a moment to load here. Uh, the Spotify link.
Shared almost the same energy as uh, as Nirvana, Nirvana's old school music. Uh, yeah, yeah, I really yeah. dig that a lot. Y'all in the chat, let Police Horse know what you thought about that track you just heard. Yeah, thanks for letting us use another one of your songs. I think we used one of your songs before on our show. I can't remember. <laughs> well, uh, that was really pretty. This yeah, one I really was, like this one a lot. I really uh, like this one. Um, just go ahead, and let uh, Police Horse know what you think about their song. I uh, went ahead and posted their link in the chat. This next artist is called uh, Thine Inner Sanctum. Nice. This song is called uh, Abyss of Time. It is a band camp link. Oh, cool. It's opening it now. Again, we don't know much about band camp. No. Sometimes we get the titles mixed up because we don't Abyss know where of, we're looking sometimes. Abyss of Thine. <laughs> Abyss of Thine. Not Thine. I said Thine. Oh. I can't hear okay. you <laughs> Pretty sure I said that. Maybe I don't I'm remember. maybe I'm buzzed too hard or something. I don't remember.
10 that was beautiful it's like a slower fatter blacker version of a cradle of filth that was so uh, pretty oh yeah uh, i tried looking for y'all on youtube and wasn't sure if i could find you like where else are you besides band camp because i don't do the band camp thing <laughs> and i want to follow y'all like i personally want to follow y'all that is great if you're in the chat please tell me where else i can find your music please. really admire the uh the slow fatness that and, uh, was so so pretty the, uh, i really enjoyed that I don't know what that would sound like, chopping screwed. I don't all, know. Even all slower and all fucked up. Maybe like <laughs> like, like like an industrial remix almost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that would be kind of cool. You should make it's a chopping screwed version of that. That'd like, cool. oh my god, I'm trying to imagine like what that would sound like live. I think like, <laughs> I think I'd just be like entranced, you know? It's, just, it's like standing there like, whoa. Yeah, that bass. That was so pretty. That bass uh, had me in a trance a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that bass line, like, oh my gosh. And those vocals were so pretty. Again, that Everything was, uh, just harmonized. That was so great. Thine Inner Sanctum with their song, Abyss of Time. Uh, you go ahead and check them out in the, yeah, yeah, from that, that last link I posted. Please reach out and tell us if you are somewhere else besides Van Camp. I want to follow you somewhere. I already checked on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Too busy doing the show to look elsewhere right now. <laughs> <laughs> this next artist is called uh, CMD81. I think, something like that. Interesting. The song is called... Uh, die with me. But with the shorthand W for the word with. Yeah. And all smushed together as <laughs> if it was a, a URL or something. Or a screen name. It's very cute, by the way. I like that, that aesthetic. Just right off the bat. <laughs> Yeah, 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 
that was awesome. It's like a, might be like a metal core static X. That was the shit. That was cool. I liked that video. That video looked like it was a bit of work, mm -hmm. but also a lot of fun to make. I like the glitchiness of yeah, the video. Yeah, it was kind of like a cyberpunk feel, but not, you know, like the monochromatic made it more mm -hmm. like matrixy with the green. That was still cool. Glitch core. It was not glitch core, but oh. there was a touch of that mixed in, <laughs> and I thought that was super epic. It was more metal than it was glitch core. Yeah, that was That's shit. That's what yeah. I liked about it. Yeah. Like, that was cool. Glitch core core. No. Something like that. No. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, CMD. Don't, don't, don't mix Tumblr cores <laughs> with metal subgenre cores, please. Just don't try <laughs> to, to overlap those. It just isn't going to work. <laughs> Whoops. No. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot a, of people off if we try to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that was CMD 81 with the song uh, Die With Me. Oh, you go that ahead. was an awesome song. And oh, video. yeah. You can check them out in the, in the last link I posted there. I see there are at least five people in this chat, please, or at least watching. Please feel free to jump in the chat. And oh, here's Kevin. Whoa. And let these mm -hmm. artists know what you think about their music or say more stuff about your own music if you're watching to wait until your music pops up like say hi mm -hmm. tell us we have a booger on our face something just yeah. join us in the chat please <laughs> i'm gonna play the next artist here uh Who's our next artist this next artist is called uh woods with their song ben beyond oh cool <laughs>
Fuck and yeah. That whole track gave me like some sort of nostalgia for like a time and a place I can't even remember. Like that shit was beautiful. This shit sounded like Pink Floyd fucked Portugal the man and had a vegan baby. <laughs> shit is badass. I wish uh, Portugal the man would do like more like uh, guitar creativity like that. That was so uh, pretty. I really Yeah, that was that. the shit. Hey, congratulations, you have a new subscriber. I just subscribed to your <laughs> channel. Like, I really like that. There you go. Like, that was really enjoyable. Uh, that was uh, Woods with the song Ben Beyond. I posted there a link there in the chat if you want to check that out. Uh, here's the next artist here. They're called uh, Carnivorous Hordes. <laughs> nice. And this song is called uh, Slaughtered Uprising. <laughs> it's a YouTube link. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting a That song gave me some like legit emotional feels. I love the hyper energy of that band a lot. That was really great. Yeah, the drum nice sound too. Such consistent drumming throughout the whole thing. Mm -hmm. That was the shit. I really like the vocals. Oh yeah, like, the, like so uh, smooth. 
Yeah, so the dual so vocals like, are it, awesome. It, it really folded into the music and didn't feel like it was just on top of the music. That's, oh, yeah. That's either, some, that's some scout, like really talented and skilled like post-production, like mastering and editing. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful though, wonderful. Yeah, that was a Carnivorous Hordes with their song, A Slaughtered Uprising. I might go ahead and follow that. Yeah, we got, a, real quick. got a lot of great. good tracks so far today. Really oh. have. Y'all are so amazing. We really admire the diversity we got today. As we always um, do. <laughs> yeah, we, um, yeah we, uh, we, the reason we do this, we look for different artists to uh, get tiny little bits of inspiration from each artist that we get to hear on the show. We also need inspiration for future music we want to write. Uh, we need more uh, music. Yeah, we need more uh, more more human music and more things that interest humans when it comes to listening to music because we, uh, we we came uh, we crossed over from hell to get away from the whole metal scene in hell. We we're actually platinum selling artists in hell, but uh it's it's a really it's it's it's, it's, it's kind of a shitty scene and a shitty place in general also. What so a different environment as well. <laughs> you know, Crossing over, we figured we'd do a little better in the earth uh, metal scene. But still, we need your inspiration, and thanks for your songs. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a little little 10 minute break. Uh, we're going to play one of our songs here if you want to check us out. I'm so, I love this one. This is our uh, newest single. This is probably my favorite song on our album, to be honest with you. We're going to take a little break, and uh, we'll be back in a little bit. This list will play on its own. It's called Seesaw my face Thief. My face. <laughs> <laughs> They're just gonna be in my face. My bow fell and now my hair's oh. gonna be in my way. I'll get over it. You can do it on the show. Need a, <laughs> need a safety pin. <laughs> I'll deal with it later. I wanna hear some music. I don't need to see to hear music, right? <laughs> this is the band camp to Seesaw Thief. Seesaw Thief. What a fun name. What a fun idea for a crime, honestly. I just wanna get a band of you know, friends together to go steal a seesaw because of the name of this band. Are you in? Let's go steal a seesaw. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like a nice plan for my next acid trip. Nice. This one's fun. <laughs>
once we put their name on there wrong. <laughs> yeah, we got so distracted by how great the music was. We, uh, we put their name on there wrong. Right? That's, that's Seesaw Thief. Not I the Seesaw. Forgot the name of the song, too. That was a string, string, Stringener. Uh, there's a the O and the N are in parentheses. Gotcha. Almost that's... looks like Stranger. Okay, you see what they like did there? Stranger. Holy shit. Strange that's... Honor, Stranger. Oh, that's beautiful. Wonderful wordplay. I like that. Oh yeah, it sounded like some intense ass chess music. That was like a really nice like soundscape. Like that was really Hell cool. Yeah. That was so pretty. Like I didn't know where to move my rook or my queen first. <laughs> like I saw it more as like a more like a, a landscape painted by sound, really. Of like a feeling, like an emotion. Maybe yeah. like anxiety without the fear. That. Hell yeah. That's what it really felt like emotionally, it was like anxiety but not fear. Yeah, it's pretty though. Oh yeah, I really like that a lot. That was uh, the band Seesaw Thief, their song uh, Stringener. And uh, let them know how you feel in the chat, if uh, any of y'all in it, it feels so inclined. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and post the next link to the next artist here. Who do we have? This is a, uh, Ooh, a distro kid a distro link. Kid link. Fast. That's another one. We, that's one we haven't had yet, have we? Yeah, it. yeah. I'm not sure if we ever. Uh, I mean, I've seen a couple of people use it, but I don't know if we've ever gotten a link from one. Fun. This is "Burn the Grave" with the song "Of the Flames." A review? No, preview? I want to hear the whole song, y'all. Oh. Hmm. What song was that? That was a uh, of the of the flames. All right, let's look on their Spotify because I'm logged into Spotify. Hmm. I want to hear the yeah, whole must, song. Yeah, uh... Like no. <laughs> yeah, maybe that was my mistake for uh, <laughs> mistaking that for the whole song. But well, we've never had a distro. Okay, so what was the name of the song again? Here it is. Of the flames. All right, we're Here's gonna try this on song. Spotify so we can play this let's whole song. Let's replay it. Here you go. I want to hear the whole <laughs> song, please. <laughs> As soon as it does the thing. Come on, Spotify, do your Spotify thing. <laughs> there we go.
Okay, so oh, like, yeah. first of all, what amazing like synchronization between y'all with those tempo changes. Like those were so smooth. Oh, yeah. like, I really not a the lot of bands can too. pull that shit off. Like that shit was so smooth. Every tempo change was just like wonderfully in sync between all of y'all. That was amazing. I do recommend adding more tempo changes though throughout the whole song. That was the shit. That was really great. Like that was yeah. I just want more of that. Impressive. That was awesome. That, that reminded me a lot of Cannibal Corpse. Yeah, I can see uh, that. <laughs> uh, I assume y'all took inspiration from them. Uh, and uh, I really admire the drumming a lot and that and that a lot too. Yeah. That's probably my favorite with the tempo changes, like she said also. I just was so distracted by how good the tempo changes were that I actually didn't pay attention to much of anything else. <laughs> like, I was that impressed with it. Like, not a lot of bands could pull that off where oh, it yeah. sounds, like, actually That's pretty. And, like, they're all in sync. Like, I don't know, it was almost magical. <laughs> like, that was really good. Yeah, and that was uh, Burn the Grave with their song, Of the Flames. Can you just, like, go ahead and give them a follow there on my Spotify? Just, like, scroll up. And see that little heart? Just put a little there heart there and I'll deal with that later when I log in later. There that you go. That's really nice. I like that. And uh, this next artist, I'm posting the link here in the chat if you want to check them out. What's they're called uh, oh, bog, bog Wizard. I thought that was the website for a second. I was like, what's a Bog Wizard? What is all these <laughs> websites that we're just not aware of? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Here's the song Gelatinous Cube. Also amazing band name slash artist name and amazing song name. Bog Wizard Gelatinous Cube.
That oh, was yeah. awesome. I like that. I love how we were like so into it. We forgot to put the name and info on our little <laughs> sign there. Like, we forgot to change Bog Wizard's name on there. That was so awesome. I like everything about that. I really like the complexity of that. Oh no. my gosh. My very, hair is driving so it sounds like some very uh, complex doom metal <gasps> or doom metal ish. There we go. Music there. I'm back. And uh, yeah, I really uh, enjoyed the ending of that too. And in general, it was a very intense song. I really enjoyed that a lot. Really that 10 minutes that. just yeah. went by, didn't they? Yeah, really? Yeah. I don't know. Actually, I was really enjoying that experience. I don't think it felt like 10 minutes, but I really enjoyed the amount of time I spent like on the journey of listening to that song. That yeah, was that was really shit. nice. Also, I really liked how I like forgot that there were vocals because like, there wasn't for a while. And I was like, mm -hmm. oh, I wonder if there's vocals to this song when vocals had played earlier. And then vocals would play again in the near future. <laughs> I really liked the song a lot. That was the shit. I like that. I'm so glad they're on Spotify. That makes me happy. That I'm was Bog Wizard with the song Wizard. Gelatinous Cube. I love everything about the name <laughs> of the song, of the band. I love the name of the album there. I love the the, 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 the album art. I am so excited to listen to more of your music later, like for real seas. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Go ahead, <laughs> uh, follow them on uh, on Bandcamp. Or we'll do the Bandcamp band thing because yeah, I don't band know camp. shit we about Bandcamp. Band camp works. It's like a it's like a foreign language. Mm -hmm. We're just lucky to make it work. <laughs> this next artist, I just posted a link in the comments. There, they're called Big Skin Hearts, with their song "Welcome to the City Man." Oh, fun! Playing them now. It sounds like it's gonna be very very when you let like nature story. just do its thing. Is that an ad? That might be an ad. Is it any wonder our beer tastes so no. pure? No. Nickel no. Ultra. Whoops. There you go. Michael Bob. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I used to call it Michael Bob. <laughs>
was hell so yeah. much fun. Like, hell yeah. That was so much fun. I enjoyed all of that. It sounded like a punk version of uh, Rage Against the Machine. That was the shit. Did you just say that sounded like a punk version of Rage Against the Machine? Yeah. Well, you don't agree with that? No, I totally agree yeah. with it. I just, I don't know why, but like I've always lumped them into a punk genre. Oh, they're of already sort. punk? I just kind of had, it almost feels like you are dissing Rage Against the oh. Machine in favor of this band, I, uh, which I am totally I for. I just didn't expect that really? out of you, honestly. I never, I never <laughs> coined Rage Against the Machine as a I, punk band. Like, I, I, I think their lyrics attention. are pretty punk, I guess. I guess yeah, I guess but, their uh, lyrics are like their whole like sound. I don't know, to me, they always seem more like metal hip hop ish. Something I can like kind of see that. But that, that's oh. it's got like a punk vibe to it, though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does seem. Oh. Though I do see what you're saying. I that's do. That's the shit. I just oh. didn't expect you to say that for some reason. <laughs> no, I liked that. That was amazing. That was fun. I Can you imagine how much fun that would be live? Oh, yeah. Like, holy shit. That was Big Skin Hearts with a that's, Welcome to the City Band. That was the name of the band, Big Skin Hearts. Yeah. Amazing. You can uh, follow them on YouTube if you want. Yeah, you know, I just posted the link there in the chat if you want to check them out on your own time there. That was amazing. I like that. This next artist I'm is called. <laughs> this one's called There's Only One Elvis. And I really like your band name a lot too. Interesting. That's interesting and kind of sad. I get like a melancholy feeling from that. <laughs> This song is called Bleeding Hands. I get an even more melancholy feeling from that. <laughs> <laughs> Triple melancholy. That was just a double, thank you. <laughs>
man, that whole song is a whole mood, man. Hell yeah. That, that is was... such a mood. I like that. All the feels. It's like a slightly uh, darker, heavier Lamb of God, almost. I get like it. A, yeah, 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 I can't get it. I like, just, oh, I like that. I like those lyrics, too. Like, Lamb of God times 0. 0.5. <laughs> Just a little bit more Lamb of God than Lamb of God. <laughs> Tiny sliver. I, I just really enjoyed that track. Yeah, that was the shit. That was great. I really liked the lyrics, too. Yeah, the drumming. Like, and the, oh my God, the drumming. Oh my God, and how in sync y'all were. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah, that was, uh, uh, that was really good. <laughs> drum, seems like drummer got a lot of, uh, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh. Uh, I can't think of the right word. Oh no! <laughs> what's what's it like? But, uh, I guess. Mm, yeah, stamina. I guess. Uh, like endurance. It's like yeah, endurance. <laughs> it's like I don't know how someone could drum like that fast and not be a machine. Uh, yeah, yeah. Tired, like there's a lot of know? skill like, there, clearly. Like drummers must got those like strong ass leg muscles and. Yeah, for real. Yeah. With, the, with the kick drums, like as fast as they're going, like oh, that yeah. is impressive. Like I can't. Kick drum. Like, oh, yeah. How are you doing that? That is amazing. <laughs> yeah, and that was There's Only One Elvis with the song Bleeding Hands. That, I'm still like pumped from it. That was awesome. You can follow them on Spotify. Here's the next uh, artist here. It's a Spotify link. Oh, wait, sorry. It's a Bandcamp link. Oh, boy. It's a Inferior Brain Power. The song is called. A trash pan marzipan. <laughs> trash can marzipan. evading statements hard to define what now I hear you clear as day. You call out to me in a backwards evil wicked tone. All you ever say trash can marzipan is not for you. So get your fingers off the gold and go do as you're told. When I do these tricks for you, it feels so much like pandering. If you just want to scream and shout, that's not a call worth answering. Stick your hand inside this box of thumbtacks. Falling off the tracks. Race back to origin. You go to Portland, Oregon. Let us see the trees and song sparrow rumple up your cardigan. Artistic or a mistake. I'm either way, nothing in between. Just saying. I got the vibe that it felt like it was from a stage musical. <laughs> like I got less of that feeling as the song went on, but for at least the first half of that song, it felt like it belonged in a stage musical. Oh yeah, I did. I, don't know I, get why I got that feeling. But it's a very, uh, very swing, maybe. Maybe does that like yeah. sw swing like a lot of stage musicals use swing music. So maybe that was why I got that feeling. But. Very ironic musical vibe. I love the, like the, the lyrics. Those were so funny. <laughs> I'm weirded out by the ending. I hope it was an artistic choice because if it wasn't, fix it. That's nah, a mistake. They, <laughs> like, went, they went straight to the end because that's just how they are. No, they just, like that was weird. Just cut the shit right off. Unless it was like an immediate segue into the next <laughs> song, which again feels very stage musically. Like, unless that was the case, that was a weird ending. 
And if it was a stylish choice, you know, to like make us feel on edge, cool. <laughs> Good job. If it wasn't, <laughs> like, please finish this song. I like this song. Please finish it. <laughs> like, uh, oh, I was, yeah. I'm so weirded out by that. I feel so like, I don't know. I feel weirded out by that ending. <laughs> the lack of ending, more accurately. <laughs> That was Inferior Brain Power <laughs> with their song Trash Can Marzipan. That was a great song. I like that. That very swingy kind of feel. Go ahead and find them on uh, Bandcamp. Do the Bandcamp thing with them. Whatever that may be. Here's another Bandcamp link. Yay. With a, a different artist called Monster Reich. Fun. I'm playing the song now. The song Wait. Expected Average. Okay. This is also... Uh, from a various artists link from a um a record label holder or yeah i believe that was a record label person who sent me this link yeah awesome. works with a lot of different artists here's cool. just one of the many artists he works with this is monster bright cool. with expected average <laughs> That was a Bandcamp link, and I was literally trying to look y'all up on YouTube and nearly spent my drink over it. It was totally worth it. Oh, yeah. Well, at least I hope it will be, because I hope y'all are actually on YouTube. Are they Monster Right? I really enjoyed uh, that. I really hope you're, the artist's name is Monster Right. Uh, like, I, right. like we said, we're not really good with Bandcamp. Uh, I believe that's your artist's name, or at least the artist's name that, that it, was presented. Or it could be the name of the song. I decided to play, maybe. I really don't know. Either way, I really enjoyed but, uh, that. 
uh, the song I think it was Expected Average by we Monster Right, we believe. Okay, on this average. various artists label link we posted there. If you want to check them out, you can look more into it with that Bandcamp link. If we got you wrong, please let us know in the chat or comments, depending on when you see this video. Yeah, if we, we've got it wrong, please correct us so your future fans will also know. We need more noise artists like that. that you know? I, don't, I mean, yeah, I would call that noise. That was very melodic for noise, but yes. I, I love it noise. It was like noise. a soundscape. Uh, like, it was beautiful. I felt like I was in a different world like, that had a soundtrack. There's a lot of noise that's just... It just sounds like the artist ain't really trying much. And then there's noise like that. That just sounds really It, it almost sounds like a collage, but yeah. instead of, like, magazine clippings and stuff, it's sound. It's wonderful, and I liked it. Oh, yeah. And I cannot find y'all on YouTube. Well... Sad day. Also, share a place where you are besides Bandcamp so I can mm -hmm. find you because I like that. And yep. I can't search for you now because I'm in the middle of a show. So. Okay. <laughs> now, I like that a lot. Our next artist here, I just posted a link there in the comments if you want to check them out. They're called Wolves Among Us. Ooh. The song is called Calamity. Ooh. I'm expecting certain vibes from this. Mm -hmm. And they were met. <laughs> It's too late now to run. I think we come undone. We give it all for just to fall and knock it off again. And all we take away is how we disappear. Just a moment, I lost it all That I'm done asking why
I owned a record company, I would sign y'all right now based on that one oh, yeah. song. I for <clears> real, <throat> I would have signed you within 30 seconds. Like, holy shit. It takes me back to 2005. That was the shit. But it still feels and modern. Uh, it still feels now. Oh, yeah. It's like a modernized... And what uh, an amazing and cinematograph... Like, I don't know. There's a lot of work put into this performance oh, music yeah. video. It, that's... Oh, my God. I love your dual style of vocals there. That bassist uh, was killing it. That I vocalist do. was killing it. That guitarist was killing it. <laughs> like, drummer, <laughs> killing it. Everybody was so good. I see one vocalist doing both styles there. It does beg the question how it's done live. Like, I wonder Practice. how you're... Your, <laughs> breathing exercise. Your, maybe two microphones. Just I don't know, like you beatbox Sound your guy way. Sound guy who does <laughs> adjusting between. There is probably some work put into. Like, it. Surely one of your uh, other musicians has Sorry. a badass voice to keep up with that live or something. Holy shit! Unless you backtrack in one of the I would like, tracks or something. I would rate y'all like thirteen out of ten. But yeah, that was a great Fuck, song. Yeah. That was Wolves Among Us, the song Calamity. Have, we've never played them before. Like, that name sounds familiar, but I don't hmm. know why. Now that you mention it, it does sound a little familiar. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you go ahead and um, subscribe to them on YouTube if you yeah. like. I really like that. Now, uh, again, uh, we really admire a lot of the artists that uh, let us uh, use their music today. A lot of, uh, like, I really admire the diversity and everything. Yeah, it's been really great so far. Again, we're Neckbeard News. Uh, we possess these bodies in Dallas, Texas, so we can uh, start making music for humans instead of demons. And we escaped hell and possess these bodies so we can kind of reinvent ourselves for the earth metal scene instead of the hell metal scene. Human music. Like we said earlier, the hell metal scene is garbage, and we decided to make music for humans instead. Uh, you, you can't listen to the music we made in hell. It just um, would make your ears you, bleed. You well. you wouldn't survive it, and so that we, would be like the lightest part that would happen. To but me. you can check out the music on YouTube. We left there. You can listen to that all you want safely. Now we're gonna go ahead and go on another song. break soon. Yay! Um, I'm gonna go ahead and play another one of our songs. And that one was one that played. Yeah, we're, we'll start from where we left off from the last break. This is their uh, YouTube to the band uh, Nameless Anonymous. I thought that sounded familiar. Their song is uh, Haunted. I had a friend who said they were going to name their son Nameless Anonymous.
That was awesome. It's like a Black and Avenged Sevenfold. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Nice. Arrow like the guitar solo work on that a lot too. And, uh, I guess uh, I think you mentioned that was uh, your newest song. I only saw like one song on the playlist. Uh, I guess they have a, a whole album coming out soon or something. But again, uh, yeah, I really, I really enjoyed that one a lot. Um, that was a uh, nameless anonymous with their song "Haunted." That's fun. I really dig the artwork on that too. And uh, it's always a pleasure to have you guys uh, lending us uh, your music to use on our show too. Uh, Absolutely, I, I love whenever artists like send us their music again like more of their music this shit is so exciting yeah we appreciate your uh, your cooperation with us and our show and everything again that was a uh, nameless anonymous with their song haunted you can check them out with the last link i posted there i love their album art too for that song that's fun let's see this next song by an artist i think their their name is pronounced yuha yarkis or Yurkis. Yurkis. Yuha Yurkis. Perhaps. That's the closest we can guess. <laughs> this is a uh, Spotify link by Yuha Yurkis. Looks like it might be a... I really can't even guess what language that might be. But it... Yeah, I'm not sure what language uh, this is, but you should, uh, if you're in the chat, you should totally let us know because it seems pretty interesting to us. The name of the song yeah. kind of looks Finnish, but I'm, again, I could only guess. Yeah, we possess some bodies in, in the south of in northern United States, so this is kind of super foreign to us. so great. Yeah. <laughs> Just say it. This song is called Kaimenen Kervanimia, I think. Uh, Kaimenen Kervanimia, <laughs> I can't guess. Ooh, it sounds so funny. Ready? 
Okay, first of all, amazing song. Second of all, I've been trying to translate the name of that song, and I'm pretty convinced it has something. It has something to do with the dirty joke. I really want to read the lyrics to this song, so like, uh, <laughs> please, your your high, your cuss, please, like, reach out to us so I can read the lyrics to that song. I really want to know the name of that song, what it means in English, and I would love to read the <laughs> lyrics because I'm. Based on the translations I'm finding, I'm excited and I want to read more. So, Hell yeah. Yeah, that was so much fun and what a beautiful melodic song. But based on what I think it might be about, it's kind of funny. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. It kind of reminds me of the kind of music the Ninja Turtles work out to. And train and stuff. <laughs> like, I imagine like Raphael swinging his shit around. I feel like that music. I could totally that song. see that. So I'm gonna fuck Shredder up to this shit right here. Yeah. Play at max volume. <laughs> That's probably not his weapon, is it? I, I, I probably. Don't, gosh, I. Can't is Donatello remember. the one with the uh with the I stick? I used to know when I was. Or no, he had the blades. When I was like a wee wee. No, I said blade. Raphael. I think Raphael had the blades. Uh, I I don't remember. I, I was I was a wee he <laughs> with my memories intact at the point like I don't know <laughs> I couldn't tell if I like Ninja Turtles or Powerpuff I mean uh Power Rangers more I mean I like, was into both of them so I, much let's throw some Powerpuff Girls in there too they were pretty awesome dude I was so into Power Rangers as like I love the Power Rangers as a Rangers tiny too. human child like <laughs> I was so I, I like the Yellow Ranger best I used to I pretend I was the uh the Black Ranger nice I think yeah, or was it the Green Ranger? Yeah, I can't remember. Oh goodness! Didn't Green Ranger turn white at one point? I like, can't remember. Like it was remember. like the White Ranger. There was a White Ranger though. Yeah, I thought he, he was used only... to be the Green Ranger. And I was so you know pissed what? Because green was my favorite color, and I was so pissed about that. You know the White Ranger won most of the battles in that movie. Wow. It pretty much. It was like... almost like he was like Gandalf the White. Like he disappeared yeah. and came back so much more powerful than everyone else. Like they... what the fuck was that? They really tried to make the White Ranger look badass. We really that movie. need to watch that. And he shit, just came out of nowhere. Like, who the fuck is the White Ranger? <laughs> well, for it some used reason. to be the Green Ranger because Green Ranger. Just, again, this is another. Because when you're movie. little, you, <laughs> when you're little, you count those battles. You count who won that shit. You're matters. like, oh, the White Ranger won five of them. But it matters. Like, <laughs> like you have to know. Yeah. Because when the movie comes out, you have to be able to tell your parents what the fuck they just saw when they took you to yeah. the movies. <laughs> and when you're little, you don't know shit about the internet. You can't just go look up. Who won the most battles? Which went for Power What Rangers? internet? When we were <laughs> small people, there was not internet. Yeah, I didn't. I wasn't really heavy on the internet until I was 17. I think I was like 13. But even then, it was like, what, Neopets? <laughs> Does that count? <laughs> Yahoo Radio. <laughs> I was all about Pokemon and shit. Anyway. Neopets. I was so into Neopets. Yeah. That was like my first experience with like HTML coding and shit, too. <laughs> My new pets profile was so badass. <laughs> Again, that was uh, you haul Yuckus. <laughs> With his song that was... Kaimen and Kervinimia. Possibly in Finnish. I'm not sure. Please tell us. Please let the us translation know. we looked up looked like it was about dicks or something. And that excited So me. we wish you'd tell us what, what, the, what song's the song about. is Sounds about. Interesting. And perhaps send us some lyrics so we can translate it or a link to where I might have lyrics. Sir. Next, next artist is called Symmetrical Defiance song is called Devour the Sun. Uh, it's a Spotify link. Uh, let me post it here in the comments. Here's the Spotify link to Symmetrical Defiance. The song is called Devour the Sun. Also a fun name for a song, but that band name Symmetrical Defiance. Pause your song there. I was just trying to close out of a window. But that window happened. To be <laughs> Sorry. I like those cries. Reflex. There you go. It only cost me 20 
the shit i really like the rawness of the the general sound all together the general production and the, the general rawness of the production i mean that yeah that was a shit yeah, yeah there's a we're, I, don't, I don't i have a thing for like just really honest production quality like yeah, that yeah like really pure I don't, stuff i really like the purity of like the rawness that kind of thing i can totally you see know. where you're coming from though because it's like you can tell the artist is really into their art. Yeah. And they have a need to share it despite the quality they are able to provide in that moment. Hell yeah. And I love that. I love that. Like, I, I, I feel that need and I understand that need. So, like, that's really cool. Wow, that is a long link. I admire the guitar uh, work in that, that song, too. Again, that was Symmetrical Defiance with the song Devour the Sun. I posted the link there in the comments if you want to check them out. You can uh, right <laughs> look them all up. Um, we're gonna post this next artist here. Yeah, that's too long. Oh uh, yeah. We should open that and then recreate the link. Like, what <laughs> the heck happened there? This is a really long Spotify link here. Um, I think <clears> there's <throat> a way we can adjust that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if there's a way we can adjust the link. It it, totally it's not even is. letting me post it. I bet there is. Man. Yeah, you can try. I'm just gonna like open the link itself. Uh, and then just see if there's a way we can find a sort of like where we open it up there. Right there? Yeah. Wonderful. We're going to try to open up the song first before we post the link. Maybe we can find a shorter version yeah. of the link. What is the song we're looking for? I think the, I believe the song is called North Wind by a band called North Wind. Oh. I, I could be wrong. Okay. That seems to be the only information I see here so far. Okay, so where are we posting it to? No. Uh, and yeah. there? Okay. Yeah. Let's see if it'll let me do it this way. Can you help me collect all of that to delete? Mm -hmm. Oh, just like. Just like. And then there you go. Let's see if this one fits. That fits let's way Let's see better. if this link fits in the. There we go. There you go. Yay. There's a nice little Spotify link there right, for the artist it. called North Wind. With the song possibly also called North Wind? Yep. Amazing. Really on me.
North Wind by music artist possibly also called North Wind. You know what, y'all, I want to give y'all full credit for making that song literally sound like winter. Like, I don't know how you did it, but musically that fucking straight up felt like winter time. And it was beautiful, and I'm impressed by it. And if you are naming your band after that song, then great job. Like, yes, I love it, and it's beautiful, and I hope y'all make more music for realsies. Oh yeah, that was a very, uh, gave me a very Fruity Loops Viking feel. I definitely Very, got some like I got shit. some like slight Viking metal vibes from it for sure. <laughs> anyway, Tootie wants to like hop on camera for anyway, a little while. Here's a Tootie, Hi, pretty girl, our little uh, mascot for the Weasel Box Hi, music little show. Weasel baby. <laughs> and, uh, I know. I think my favorite artist today was a uh, Carnivorous Hordes. I really admired their energy and how heavy they were. And that was the shit. I totally see where you're coming from, but I think yeah. Seesaw Thief is going to have to have my vote for today. So. I want Carnivorous Hordes to pet my ferret. I want Seesaw Thief Here. to pet his ferret as well. You put your hand on the camera and pet my ferret. For good luck. Because uh, for good luck in your... In your musical career. In your journey. In your artistry. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's getting tired of being put on camera, yeah. to be honest with you. Yeah. Oh, she's so cute. Hey, give her a yes. kiss. Thank you guys for letting you, us girl. borrow your music and uh, react and uh, promote and review your, your songs. Please send us more music at our email at neckbeardnews at gmail.com. Yeah, uh, you All can also send word. in my inbox also if I haven't already messaged you. Oh yeah, maybe. on Facebook you can message us as well, Neckbeard News page. And we have an Instagram, we have a website called neckbeardnews.com. Oh, I so should have mentioned that earlier. A Facebook didn't. page, a YouTube, and a... Uh, We'll let you know when the next mm. show will happen. I, we believe it'll be on the 18th. Okay. And uh, yeah. You can send us a link if you want us to promote another song, but at least be sure to subscribe. If you've already subscribed, follow oh. us on Instagram and Facebook, etc. Oh. oh, she's trying to run away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Thank you for uh, being part of our community, uh, helping uh, each other, promote each other, etc. And uh, we hope to hear more from more of your songs in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Have a good night, I guess.